Congress has until Friday to come up with a government funding bill for 2018. Some are insisting on long-term funding for the program that provides health insurance for 9 million children. Here's Omar Villafranca. As a single mother of four, Dakota Flores has plenty to worry about. Two of her kids, 13-year-old Tyler and 11-year-old Harmony, rely on CHIP, the nationwide children's health care program in danger of running out of money. I'm completely worried. I don't sleep. I'm making all their appointments before the end of the year to see what I can do till everything runs out. Tyler has ADHD, and every day he takes medication to help him concentrate. Harmony has vision loss and goes to the eye doctor several times a year to change the prescription on her glasses. Without CHIP, Dakota says her children's medical bills would cost several thousand dollars a year. But under the program, their care costs only $50 a month. How would your kids' development be without that program? My daughter wouldn't be able to see. Uh, she wouldn't get a new prescription every time her vision changes. CHIP funds in Texas will run out at the end of February, unless additional money comes through. This is literally a life and death program. Jimmy Kimmel doesn't use CHIP, but after his young son underwent surgery for heart issues, the late night talk show host has taken CHIP up as a cause. Why hasn't CHIP been funded already? If these were potato chips they were taking away from us, we would be marching on Washington with pitchforks and spears right now. CHIP has bipartisan support, but Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, who co-sponsors the program, says lawmakers can't agree on how to fund it. Some people feel that the expenditure level that we have is too high. Now, obviously, I don't believe that. As the deadline looms, Dakota says she's out of options. This is for our kids. This is for their future. It's the most important thing. How could you take this away from the kids? The Senate is working on a five-year extension of CHIP and hopes to pass it before the end of the year. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, San Antonio.